Hi there. Let me show you this cool badge I'm wearing. It says Peace, Love, and Maps. Now, why am I wearing a badge that says Peace, Love, and Maps? Well, I'll tell you why. First of all, I love maps. Always have, always will. You know, as a kid, I was the family navigator. Perhaps you were too. You were the one that held the atlas while your parents drove the car, right? And you helped them to find the destination on a family trip, let's say. There's a cool book uh, called Maphead where Ken Jennings talks about his experiences as a kid uh, being the family navigator and a whole lot more about the love of maps. Also, I drew maps as a child. I drew road maps and uh, contour maps, maps of elevation, and all the photographs that I took were, were uh, photographs of uh, in infrastructure, like streets, buildings, landscapes, things like that. Ordinary things, but uh, it really fostered my love for geography, which, by the way, is a subject that makes heavy use of maps. Now, maps is not the same as geography, but maps are fundamental tools used by geographers. But here's another thing to think about. Maps are used by a whole lot more than geographers. Maps are used by historians. Maps are used by city planners. Maps are used by epidemiologists to track diseases, right? Maps are used by wildlife biologists to track habitat and to monitor habitat and protect habitat. So maps are not used by all these different professions in a paper form though, like uh, holding that old atlas that I used to hold on my knees. Now I still like paper maps, but to make decisions based on maps requires a geographic information system. Actually using maps in a digital environment and layering different maps together so that you can make uh, wise decisions about wildlife or about your city or about uh, disease tracking or whatever it happens to be. So maps are ubiquitous tools that are important to 21st century society. First of all, uh, the reason why is because, again, as I mentioned, they help us make better decisions. Uh, they empower people to make de wise decisions about the planet. And so that comes back to my peace love maps, which I'll explain in a moment. Now, I've got two badges on. One is a badge from ESRI, as the Environmental Systems Research Institute. I serve on their education team, and so I'm very involved with curriculum development, professional development for educators, research on the effectiveness and implementation of GIS in the curriculum, and a lot of uh, uh, contact with educators and students of all kinds, from uh, primary to secondary to informal education to higher education. And so communicating what the value is of GIS and spatial thinking in the curriculum. My other badge is from the National Council for Geographic Education, where I served in the past as president. This is an organization of geography educators. And so if you're not, an, if you're not a, a member of the NCGE, you might want to think about joining. That's one way you can support geography education uh, throughout society. Now, how do geographers use maps? Well, here's a couple of um, ways that geographers use maps. Geographers use maps to, to study the relationship of ecoregions to latitude or to altitude. Geographers study things like uh, the, the Gulf oil spill and determine where that oil moved and where beaches were threatened. Geographers use maps to plan the best routes for uh, urban greenways. Where should they be planned and located in a, in a city? Geographers use maps to determine how to best protect uh, fisheries around the world. Which oceans are, are threatened uh, by, by overfishing or uh, waterborne pollution, that type of thing. Geographers use maps to look at current weather and natural hazards, for example, related to weather, such as uh, hurricanes and tornadoes. Geographers look at the long-term consequences of climate change, for example, and determine, based on mapped information, what agriculture could expand or contract based on some sort of climate change, or what sea levels would be most impacted by a sea level rise related to climate change. So geographers use maps for a whole wide variety of reasons. They're not simply to navigate from point A to point B, nor are they used just to find the locations of things, like where is Yemen? Okay, end of story. No, they're, they're actually used in a day-to-day -day context, in a day-to-day -day operation, to make better decisions. So, back on the peace love maps button that I'm wearing, uh, the reason why I think they all go together is because 
Well, think of it this way. If we're making better decisions based on geography, spatial thinking, and maps, we're actually making peace in our world. We're making our world a better place to be, a better place to live, a better place to work, a better place to, to, to have a sustainable future. So peace, love, and maps is not so far-fetched as it seems. They actually go quite well together. Thanks. By the way, if you'd like your own Peace Love Maps button and tons more buttons related to geotechnology and science and geography education, as well as support for how to use GPS and GIS in the curriculum, see my good friends and colleagues over at GISETC.com. They'll get you set up.